This is just a quick message. Certain man really think they know what they're talking about. Certain man really think they got this thing figured out, yeah. Big up to the Blue Channel. Go and check out the Blue Channel's Instagram page. My man throws out my thing every now and then. Once I put up one of my old videos, either yesterday or the day before, but I can only view it this morning. Some madness was going on with WhatsApp, Instagram, and Facebook. No one can send no text through WhatsApp. No one can sign into Facebook. And no one can browse Instagram. Whoa, what's going on here? Anyway, they sorted it out, innit? So this morning, went on to the Instagram of the Blue Channel. And, um, yeah, it's thrown out one of my videos, innit? So respect to the Blue Channel for that, innit? Gone on to the video. Gone into the comment section. Pushback, obviously. So in that video, I was saying that, in my head, it's a dumb investment to take 30 grand. Because this is what certain man do. Certain man will get 30 grand. Not buy a property, you know. Certain man will get 30 grand and put down on an AP watch or Rolex watch. Man, I've spoken about this bare times, is not it? So anyway, going into the comment section, push back. In that video, I was saying that my property, that you lot see me making my videos in and that. I put down a deposit of 13,600. And after four years, it's gone up by about 22, 24 grand. In the comment section of that video, man, I'm chatting shit. What, after four years, only gonna buy 20 grand? Man, no AP watches that after six months, gonna buy 20 grand. That's all well and good. But, man, I'm missing the bigger picture, you know. Do you know the most important thing to do in this world? It's not about getting money, you know. It's not about getting guap. It's about leaving things behind for your children and your grandchildren. Yeah, yeah. Ain't no watch serving your children or your grandchildren any purpose. Bricks and mortar is the best investment. You know, like, even, like, anyone been to the countryside or at least looked on the internet? You know them manor houses, them mansions? In the countryside, there's a lot of mansions and manor houses. You know the people then that live in that manor house or that mansion? You know most of them never actually bought that property themselves. You know most of them have inherited that property. Not just from their parent or their grandparent. They've inherited it from their great, great, great grandparent. Bricks and mortar is the best fucking investment. You can't go wrong. Even your yard that you live in right now. Whether you own it or not. You see that yard? That might have been built in the 70s, the 40s, the 1900s or the 1800s. I ain't heard an old watch lasting more than 20, 30, 40, 50 years. Even if it does, what purpose is that serving you or your use apart from making you look good? Me, man, I got property and that. Like, I can even house my little sister and that. Imagine something mad happened and my sister had nowhere to live, nowhere to stay, whatever. She'd come live with me, even man's mother. She can't do that if you got a watch. All a watch can do is make you look good. I don't. I really don't understand this this mentality, this mindset, where people really value buying watches and looking a certain way. Just don't get it. Like it just boggles my mind. I've never been on that. Always had money, but I've never been on that. I just don't understand why. But you know what it is. Actually, you know, I got I, I got I got it figured out. I got it figured out. You know why people. Want to look a certain way on the streets and that. By way of a watch. Or their clothes. Or their car. The car. No one knows where you live, you know. No one sees how you live. Out on the street, you can show people your watch, your clothes, your car. But when you're out on the street, you can't physically show people how you live. There's some people that will value looking the par AP watch Rolex and nice car and all that shit over living in a nice house. Trust me. Man, go to some of these yards in Northampton, you know. There's a Range Rover outside. There's a brand new white A-Class outside. Audi Q7. And inside the yard is nasty. So hold on a minute. 
You can drive a nice car. Even the inside of the car is all clean and crisp. But the inside of your yard is dirty. Like, some of these yards are so nasty. Like, like I get offended when they ask me if I want to drink. Like, bloody, you trying to kill man? Obviously, I don't say it, but I'm thinking to myself, like, how dare you ask me if I want to drink and your yard is so nasty? But they got the car outside, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have to show everyone that they, they're quote-unquote living good, but they're really not. They're really not. Any of you lot come into a big bit of money. 10, 20 grand if you're able to save. Buy a fucking property. Don't waste your money on no fucking watch. That can't serve you or your youths no purpose. But again, the reason why a man want to buy a fucking AP watch or Rolex. Because a man has a short term mindset. You know, if our forefathers and that the men who built this world, if they had that mindset just to live for now and look good for now, you think we would be driving Mercedes? You think we would be have all this technology in that? We would still be in a fucking Stone Age. Because man would just be thinking about right then and there and not thinking about the future. You have to think about the future. This is the whole point of investing in property and that. Investing in stupid Rolex watches and AP watches and that. Nonsense. Anyway. It's a quick message there, isn't it? Yeah. If you come into a bit of money and you save up, yeah, buy a fucking yard. Don't buy no damn watch. Stay away.